how far should a Jew go to sell a used car, and other adventures in Jewish business ethics, which for me is about a passion that I have for this idea of how does Judaism come into everyday life, and this is, a, a, for me, a great way of doing it. And we're going to be looking at scenarios from real business life, real issues, uh, that you might think, well, I could just talk about that with people, and as long as I'm a good ethical person, we can come to an agreement. But what I want to look at is can Judaism and Jewish tradition give us some guidance as to how we might deal with the situation that's in front of us. And sometimes you'll find it's wonderfully counterintuitive and you begin to think about the rights and wrongs of situations in a different way. We'll look at buying and selling. We're going to look at hiring and firing. We're going to look at investment. Um, we're going to look also at uh, issues around land, which are often quite complicated, but pretty much everybody's either bought and or sold a house or rented a place or, or, or rented it out. And those issues are really very strongly there. And a few other things, see how we go. Competition as well and what's fair and what isn't. Um, and that should be fun.